take a ride over to 132nd and Pacific and you will see a huge complex with lots of construction going on. And what's going up is cutting edge when it comes to religious harmony. A synagogue, a mosque, and Christian church all at the same campus. As reporter Emily Zink tells us, that complex is now getting national attention. She's live for us. Emily. Well, Craig, right now, Temple Israel is the only thing built on this land, but ground has already been broken for the mosque. And by 2018, Countryside Community Church hopes to now call this land home. It's a new concept that hasn't been done before, and one TV show known for its comedy thinks it's a laughable concept. It's something that hasn't been done before. It came because God wanted us to start something completely <laughs> irrational. <laughs> a temple, a mosque, and a church coming together to create a shared religious space. They share the same ideas, the same truths, and therefore can work together and live together. After 9-11, a friendship blossomed between Temple Israel Rabbi Aria Azrael and Saeed Mohidin, the president of the American Muslim Institute. Azrael offered support to the local Muslim community soon after Minister Eric Elness of Countryside Community Church joined the mix. Then came the idea of the Tri-Faith Initiative. There are a few people who still don't think this is such a hot idea. The new concept may be controversial to some, welcomed by many, and even comedic to others. Religion. A system of core beliefs that unites us all in trying to prove whose uh, God is the dopest. A few months ago, the Tri-Faith Initiative caught the attention of Comedy Central's Daily Show. Oh my God, why are they calling us? <laughs> what are they going to do with this story? The men were a little hesitant to film, but decided to share their story and a few laughs with the world. Religions do not teach us to hate. Religions teach us to love. Does that make you want to kill him? Actually, hug him. If you can't laugh a little bit about yourself, uh, then really, where is the faith? And I thought it brought up the appropriate measure of kind of hilarity and theology. The Daily Show's satire touched on many things, including the possibility of the Tri-Faith Initiative being a target for terrorism. The religious leader squashed that suggestion. We feel like we are the best hedge against uh, the very acts of terrorism and hatred. Not to say that they can never happen, but how are we going to combat that? You have to combat that with love and ideas. They're combating terrorism the same way they're able to make the Tri-Faith Initiative work, through love and ideas. I guess if a Jew, a Christian, and a Muslim can walk into a bar and it's not a joke and they don't kill each other, maybe there is hope for peace in the Middle East. That scene actually sparked a new idea for the men. They say starting in April, once a week, they're going to have a religious chat and podcast at Sean O'Casey's Pub. Live near 132nd and Pacific, Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News.